he play guitar? Shout out to Jack White. Thank right. you for you know listening to our podcast too, Jack. We really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, we have the Ben praise. Stiller, you know Vince Vaughn, um, Obama. Hello, 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 Obama, um, hello, Obama. Uh, my name is Morrow. You forgot your name. Hundred <laughs> percent have to go on vacation. I'm Dan, and this is. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about Wiped Out Wednesday. Wednesday. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> so in recent updates, Moro has broken. Um, he has been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work. We've been doing work with BuzzFeed, Amazon. We, <laughs> we've been making a ton of video content, and he's not used to having to work this much, this consistently. No, no, no. This, I no, don't, no, no. I usually, you usually get breaks. We've been going nonstop I for know. weeks now. I enjoy it, though. This Your brain fun. doesn't. We're having fun. <laughs> it's fun. We're having so We're much having fun. fun. I'm definitely not being held here against my will. If you're listening to this, no, he's not. Please email animals Anim- at dancemaker.com. <laughs> or go to our website, animalspodcast.com, and just See, send us funny. a message. If you use your pain, burnt outness, you can be funny. We're talking about the Gorgonops, which is a name that I just made up. Wait, really? No, it's not, but it sounds like Oh, it. I was like, we did research on this. <laughs> it's a real thing. So yeah. it looks like a made up creature. It looks like a dog with a Komodo dragon and a motorcycle. I don't know, that head. The motorcycle does not look like anything. I don't know, it looks like a demon. So if you're listening, take a second, pause this, Google image Gorgonops. Good and call, because they're not going to get. Yeah. There's no way we can describe it's very yes. difficult. You have to see it. It's an yeah. incredible looking creature. Um, but for those of you watching, here it is. Um, it's incredible. It's cool. It is a genus of therapsid that yes. is thought to have evolved from pelicosaurs. Okay, so this is the cool thing. You know the pelicosaurs? The f- yeah, the, the turkey dinosaur. Called? It's like a crest. That's what yeah. it's called? A crest? Mm-hmm. Um, they're old. I didn't know. I didn't realize how old they are. This is like before. This is pre dinosaurs. Yeah. Um, and a therapsid is a family that includes mammals and its ancestors. So this is it includes the ancestors that have mammal-like features before they evolve into full mammals. That's why it looks mammalian, like a dog. Yeah, like a dog. But it's not. It's a reptile or yeah. a therapsid, right? Yeah, yeah. And one of those uh, the key characteristics of these thera- therapsids is that they have legs under, like a dog. Yeah, we're we gonna keep mentioning dog because it walks and looks. Like a dog, but it's not. It's Dino a, dog. It's a lizard. You know how lizards walk on the side? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> now, how does a dog walk? Like that. Under. That was pretty accurate. On your chest. Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a key factor here that we're going to keep mentioning throughout the podcast. Now, they were big. They were 10 feet long. Kind of like a Komodo dragon. And this is actually terrifying. They had these saber tooth upper canines that were four inches long. These are some of the first saber toothed animals. People connect saber tooth with (laughs) with just cats or saber tooth tigers. Um, No, saber tooths were common with therapsids. Also, is that always in there? What the the gap? Yeah. I chipped a tooth. Yeah, did I? It's like uh, the hangover. You don't remember? Anyways, uh, but the sizes ranged from cat-sized, little cute murder machine, to as large as uh, a large Komodo dragon. This is not a flattering That's kind of terrifying, and I'm just going to keep going. Um, They were the dominant predators of their time. They were fast, they were strong, and they were terrifying. But when was that? 260 to 254 million years ago, during the late Permian, yeah. Pre-dinosaurs. Way pre-dinosaurs. Are you sure um, I didn't chip my tooth? And- no, you didn't. That's just, we, we got a podcast. I fell off my bike today, um, so I'm just a little worried. Again, uh, we're going to go back to what we've been saying for a lot of episodes. A lot of terrifying things were found in South Africa. And this was no exception. In South, a lot of terrifying things were found. A lot of terrifying things were found in South America. Yeah. Um, no, in South Africa. I was right. You corrected yourself. <sighs> okay. Most fossils were found in South Africa. Um. <laughs> this is a live recording of Moro's brain. Just yeah, shoo. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave that in. You're doing um, great. The first fossil was found in 1876 and named by Richard Owen, who is uh, an, English, an English biologist. He was. There was three yeah. species of the Gorgonops. 
And the name comes from Gorgon, a Greek mythological creature as seen here. Yeah. Sorry for my point. Um, ops is the Gorgon eye. Or face. Eye or face. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, Medusa was a Gorgon. I didn't know that. That's. I remember the Gorgons from Zelda. Gorgon is uh, a mythological people. creature that turns you to stone when you stare at it. I thought they were rock monsters. Yeah, they turned you to stone when you stare at them. That's it, a Gorgon. In Zelda, they were rock people. Okay, that's inaccurate. Zelda is a video game. Medusa is history. Um, Can you just show them the Gorgons from <laughs> yeah, Zelda? Yeah, I will. Please, thank you. Um, and they died during the Permian-Triassic extinction event where a lot of shit went boom. Like what? <laughs> so it was the Earth's most severe known extinction event with up yeah. to 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrae becoming extinct. So that's a lot of things that went dead, not living anymore. Yeah, everything. <laughs> and that's, you know, what is it? Death is the, the only constant. Well, it's the only constant. But Death is this life. De you, something with life. Death is the single greatest invention of life. It is. It's I mean, if it weren't for death, if it weren't for death, we would still be swimming with megalodons and and terrifying we mesosaurs. No, we if you want to listen to our episode from last week, the mesosaur. Yeah, the mesosaur is pretty um, cool. Cool animal. Jurassic World. Didn't know it was real. This one, not a lot of information on it, but apparently it was real. You know, they found they found fossils. They found skulls. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if they were alive today, not today, in the 80s, I could see Mike Tyson having one of these as a pet. Oh yeah. In the 80s. Why the 80s? Oh, because that's when Iron Mike was at his peak, and yeah. he's coming back. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you seen yeah, the, the clips of him training? He's that on, man is a machine. He's, on, he's uh, partnering with Triller, the, the short-form video app. The guy's been really doing great these yeah, past... Yeah, how old is he now? Late 50s? I don't know, but he... Yeah. I couldn't imagine um, Thank you, hit. Mike Tyson, for listening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike, seriously, thank you so much for the kind Honestly, words. Honestly, Mike, punch me in the face. I'll do it. You can punch me in the face. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't care. You can kill me. It's fine. What? You can put it for, Who am I going to do this PR, podcast for PR. With? That's a weird way of getting PR. Local podcaster allows Mike Tyson to punch him in the face. He says it doesn't matter if he kills him. Is that the headline? Yeah, it's a long headline. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Leslie? Local nope. business owner pledges to... Never mind. Uh, the Office. Shout out to Steve Carell. Thank you for listening. Uh, that's yeah. the <laughs> Corgan Ops, um, a dino dog that lived during the late Permian uh, period that ate things. We don't know what it ate. He's reading it off the roof. <laughs> but it, it looked like a dog in a Komodo dragon, and it was an ancestor to modern mammals. Yeah. Thank you, Brain. Thank you, Science. Uh, yeah, so visit website, subscribe. Animalspodcast.com. Email yeah. us at animals at dancepetcare.com. And um, again, we would love it if you shared with your friends. We'd love your feedback. Any sort of, you know, interaction. Send be your great. best wishes to me. Yeah, he needs it. I'm having a lot of fun. You re you seem like you are, but like. Again, I'm being held against my will. Please email All right, animals Brit at dancepetcare.com. <laughs> Um, to set me free. If you just email and say set Moro free, it'll happen. It um, really looks like a chit this time. So day. let's get set Moro free trending. Thank you so much for listening. Free it's Moro? Free Moro. Free Moro 2020. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see you on <laughs> All right. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I always get this. There we go.